Hello, this is Roland, Cisco Switzerland. Today I would like to show you a use case of how you can use your WebEx Board Pro or your Cisco Board Pro together with Microsoft Teams and together with the Microsoft Teams environment. So I come walking into a room with a Board Pro standing there. I can take my Windows laptop I have with me here. I'll take the USB-C cable, like something like this and I plug it into my laptop here. There we go. And that's all I do. So with this, the laptop is being charged. Um, uh, the screen share is starting immediately and I can start working. So the idea is I take my Windows laptop, plug it in with the USB-C cable here and walk to the front, to the screen, to the touch screen, the Board Pro, and I start controlling my PC from the touch screen. I can show a website, I can interact with the website, and then I can also show other applications, for example, a presentation. I would like to um, go into presentation mode. I can show it to the to the audience. I can also use the on-screen controls here. I can then uh, also use uh, highlight, which I actually prefer red as a color. I can show how amazing our interoperability works. So we have one single button to join any kind of meeting type, which just shows in the back here. So I showed the presentation to my local audience here, now I would like to go ahead and share it to a remote participant. Let's say I have a Microsoft Teams meeting set up. It is in my calendar here. I can simply check, go ahead and join this meeting. I'll see the camera preview. Now it's using the camera of the Board Pro here itself. All the camera settings I have available on the Board Pro, like group view frames or speaker tracking, are available and then are used in the Microsoft Teams meeting as well. So I can uh, go ahead and um, say, okay, I'm happy with that view. I can then say, join now. I'm joining the meeting and I can share the presentation I showed earlier into that meeting. I can say, okay, I would like to share my screen. There you go. I'll go back to the presentation and then I share the presentation here. Let's say I would like to go in presentation mode. I can do this as well and it also is showing on the remote party on the remote side as well. When I'm using the highlight it shows here the highlight too and it's transferred to the other side. Okay so let's stop presentation mode and go back to the uh, Microsoft Teams meeting. So I would like to also maybe do whiteboarding. So I think you can go ahead and uh, start a whiteboarding session. <coughs> the other party is also going to work with that whiteboarding. I have now nobody sitting uh, in front of that laptop, but I can still um, go ahead and use this amazing rainbow pen to draw whiteboards. You'll see it also arriving on the other side. There we go. So we have the uh, whiteboard being used on the WebEx board in a Microsoft Teams meeting. <laughs> Say stop sharing. I cannot only share the screen, I can also use PowerPoint Live. So I press the share button browse my computer, try to find a nice um, slide deck, which is not too big, so it doesn't take too long to load. Uh, there you go. And I can use PowerPoint Live here in the meeting directly, also from the WebEx, um, also from the Board Pro, I have used all these uh, sharing capabilities which are like exclusive to Microsoft Teams, but I can still go ahead and use them here as well. I can go back and forth 
in the presentation. I can use these uh, drawing tools. I can use the laser pointer here. It's all working well in a Microsoft Teams environment by using a Board Pro from Cisco. Okay, so we can not only do like scheduled meetings, but also ad hoc meetings. Let's say meet now. I would like to start a new meeting. I am joining this meeting and then I can go ahead and add participants directly and I'm looking for Barney request to join and it's requesting Barney to join. Very good. Super. Thanks a few more. There we go. So we are in an ad hoc meeting now here as well. I can also like end the meeting, meaning again, I have the Cisco Board Pro and I can do whatever Microsoft Teams can do on this Board Pro here as well. I don't need any other interop functionality. I don't even have to have this device registered. It's all just working um, as it works on the laptop and it's using the peripherals here um, as they are. So thanks a lot for watching. Um, I hope it was of help and I hope you get an idea of how flexible our WebEx board is, how flexible it can be used. So thanks again. Um, let me know if there's any questions and please subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.